Okay, this is going to be a quick video. Oh, I said one as well. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video. I'm going to do a finale. This finale is, is just something that I have realized that I have to do and I have realized that I have needed to do it for a few months now because it's just not fun anymore and I'm feeling overwhelmed with projects and stuff that I have to do so I just really have to do it and I'm so sad about it because I really like this project and, and I have been doing it since like January of 2019. I'm just done. It, I'm yeah i don't want to do it anymore so this is my finale for this and i'm i have some big plans for my eyeshadow collection for next year so that is basically what we are going to do from here on now for the rest of the year i'm doing my panda palette so you will see me pan eyeshadows but not for this project at least i don't think you can see that much progress anyway since last update so that is also a reason why I want to do this finale. I'm really sad if you can't tell. It's, it's a bittersweet moment. I have to do it. I want to do it. But at the same time, I really don't because I, I like it so much, this project. But I have been loving being a part of it. The single ladies and my man matte basically was to pick four single shadows and one matte palette. This year we took it further to a bundle of matte shadows. You can basically do whatever you want to in this project. I have basically only had pan in this project since the beginning of last year so um, yeah I'm just I'm, I'm done. <laughs> For this year I chose my matte for the W7 Major Matte Palette and this is how it was looking like last month. It is looking basically the same this month. There's not as much difference but two shadows that I have been focusing on are these two. The beige shade I am using every single day on my brow bone when I wear makeup at least. And I have it on even today, even though I did a palette bingo on the blush tribe palette. Um, but yeah, you can see a dip in it now, which is really exciting. Or at least I hope you can. I can see it and feel it. And then, yeah, the middle shade that I'm using every single day. Not today, but in the weekdays. In my crease I have just had um, like three weeks of vacation where one of the weeks I wore makeup but I didn't bring this palette on vacation so meh. it was just a hassle so uh, yeah and I have used these two shades in the outer corner I have mixed them because this is a little bit too dark but yeah I have mixed these two use this in a crease and this on my brow bone almost every single eye look that I did that was kind of natural and that I could incorporate the shadows in. That's the end point and half year mark for this. One and a half year. I think that is a good end date, you know? Month at least. My four single ladies, the first one that I want to talk about is this one. This is the Kiko single eyeshadow in 133. Um no progress. <laughs> I have used it maybe a few times to set my eyeliner to so it's not smudging or anything. But yeah, it's still here. <laughs> then we have the Future is Mine Mono Eyeshadow from P2 in Virtually Bronze. I have used this. I have. Maybe you can see some progress here in the middle. Still love that shadow. Really like, like a lot. But... The progress is just slow in this project and that annoys me so much. Then we have another Kiko eyeshadow in 54. I don't think I have used this one this month at all. The last one is just a big disaster. I really want to repress that so much into another pan because it's just loose and annoying. <laughs> I did bring it with me on vacation and I used it so much in my inner corners every single day as a highlighter and everything because it broke on me a few times. This is the Essence Snowflake 
single eyeshadow. It's a white shimmer. And as you can see, it is looking so horrible. It broke on me a few times, so I just pressed it back together here on the top. So this is what it is looking like. You can basically see that the pan has, in the middle, has changed since last update. Um, and it's not as high up here where it is crumbly. That is where I am with the shadows. I know it was not that that exciting, but I just have to do this finale because I'm just over this project and I really want to move on and I don't want to have 10 projects over my head anymore. It's just too much right now. If you know, I'm pregnant and I'm having a baby in three months which is a little bit overwhelming in itself. So I'm just cutting a few projects short basically at this point. And this is one of them. So let's see how I do for the rest of the year. But I have so many more project pans on my channel that you can see. And I always upload videos that you can watch as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. And stick around on my channel if you are new here. I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of my small family. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the series and let me know if you did. And please check out the other ladies that I have done this as a collab with. They are still doing it. I know Amanda and Jessica are a little bit silent at the moment on their channels. But that doesn't mean you can't see everyone's videos. And I will have some playlists and videos linked down below for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And until my next one, please take care. Bye.